Howard! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver. The Lone Ranger. grazing land of Texas brought wealth to many of the early settlers, but the local sheriffs were unable to protect them from the outlaws who roamed the new territory. The honest ranchers' lives and property were in constant danger until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice. It was he more than any other man who put an end to the law of might makes right. It was the lone ranger who blazed a trail for peace and progress, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us now, those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Merck Morton is out of jail! There's going to be trouble! Hi, old Silver! Away! <laughs> Everyone around Pecos called the owner of the Lazy J Ranch Mustang Mag. Years of struggle against drought and famine, rustlers and Indians, gave Mag the aggression of a man. Yet her rough manner concealed a soft heart. Her foreman, old Missouri, held his job only through Mag's generosity and... All incarnation I ask of you, Missouri, is that you keep out from under foot. And, Dad, Ratchie, you can't even do that. I can say a plenty about your feet covering so much territory. A man can't keep... What the... was that? Uh, well, I... Never mind. If you have to poke around the house, go shave your face. And while you're at it, see if you can't curry that hair of yours. I declare your sight to see. You mean I got to slick up? That's just what I mean. I got company coming from Pecos, and I do declare I'm ashamed to ever see you. And who's coming? Betsy Jane. When we was in town for the hearing on my land rights, she said she'd drive out here today. Why didn't you tell me so this morning? Thunderation, Betsy Jane is quality. Why well, I got to get slick proper for her... It'd take half a day to get fixed with my boots greased, my shirt washed. That's and... why I didn't tell you. If you'd have known, you wouldn't have done a lick of work around here. Shucks, I hate like blazes to have her see me like this. Maggie just ain't right. It don't reflect credit on you. She's got to think right well of the man you aim to marry. Who says so? Well, we're, we're engaged, ain't we? Hmm, been that for ten years, according to your notions. Never said nothing about marrying, though. Now, there ain't no use rushing things. Sakes alive, I hear a wagon. If that's Betsy Jane, you just got to keep out of sight. If only you wouldn't keep things secret from me. It is, Betsy Jane. Now you get to the woodshed and see that you stay there till she's gone, or till they're shaved and spruced up. Go on, now get. I'll let her in. Hi there, Betsy Jane. Welcome to the Lazy J. Hello, Andy. Get yourself down off in that rig and come on in here. My sakes, good to see you. Hey, Lamb, you take the ladies' horses. All right, Betty. How do you do? Haven't seen you since the hearing, Aunt Meg. Oh, my 
gracious, but wasn't that an exciting day? Sure enough was, but come on inside. I'll have tea in a little while. There now, honey. Just set yourself down there. That's the best chair. Don't allow Missouri to sit on it. <laughs> He's an old dear. Uh, where is he? Chased him off to the woodshed to get some of the whiskers off his face. Wasn't it terrible that Mr. Morton couldn't be made to stay in jail? Oh, I don't know. Everyone knows he was guilty of murder, but there wasn't proof enough to hang him. I don't know it's hanging him to help things much. Has he caused any more trouble for you? I should say not. I reckon now he knows the law's on my side. He won't try no more his cussed tricks. I wonder. Why should he? He's got most of the land around here now anyway. I'll get the tea kettle on. But he wants the Lazy J mighty bad. Your valley land has good water. Only way I get it now is to make me sell. And I won't sell. Fact is, Betsy Jane has been right sociable since she got out of jail. He has? Sure thing. Dropped by the call the other day. Really? I never known he was here, Mag. Why don't you tell me? Shut that door. <laughs> he started shaving anyway. Yep. A goat could grow fat on what he grows on his face. <laughs> but as I was saying, I guess Morton's buried the hatchet for keeps. Come to see if I didn't want to share the cattle train with him. And, and did you? Why not? I've got to have cattle cars to ship my stock to market. Yes, I know, but... I'll give him the cash for what cars I'll need, and he's made the arrangements to get the train. All i got to do is get my critters through Grant Pass to the railroad spur and into the cars. Choo Choo does the rest. And his cattle will be on the same train? Yep. Aunt May, can you trust him? Nope. Can't trust no one. But I can make blame sure he don't get the chance to do no crooked tricks. But suppose he sends the train back without giving you the chance to get loaded. The train won't leave till the 15th, but then I will be loaded. I got to be. If I ain't, I won't sell my stock, and then I would be up again it. Would you really? Sure. I ain't the grazing to carry them cows over another season. They're ready for market, and they'll get there. I... What was you about to say? I wonder what Morton is up to. Why? He's been around town a bit, hiring a lot of new hands. Likely he needs them. But the men he's hiring ain't near as skilled in handling cattle as they are in handling six guns. Oh, I wouldn't be too suspicious of him, Betsy Jane. After all, ain't much else but gunslingers to be had around Pecos. All the good cow hands already got jobs. I hope you don't lose out, Aunt Meg. Morton has more tricks up his sleeve than a red fox. She's right, Mag. Dad, right, and Betsy Jane's right. Missouri, now, you... you gotta listen. Morton ain't to be trusted. I never knowed you'd made a deal with him. You're all the time keeping things from me. Your hair ain't cold. No, and my shirt ain't washed, but Morton is still a crook. And you... Missouri... Now, Mag, put down that tea kettle. Don't you throw that. Don't you dare to throw it. That man's a caution. Can you imagine Betsy Jane when he was a baby with a face like that? While Mustang Mag entertained her caller, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, headed toward the Morton Ranch. The point is, Tonto, Morton doesn't need more men than he already has to handle his stock. Him hire plenty more men. That's what we heard, but we aren't sure. You find out? I'll ride alone after we get to the forks and see if the reports are true. Uh, Meanwhile, you go and call on Mustang Mag. She'll be glad to see you after the help you gave her before. Oh, <laughs> you help? She knows you, though, Kimosabe, and you may be able to learn about her plans for shipping cattle. Oh. I'll meet you in camp tonight, and we'll compare notes. You think Morton got scheme? I know Morton wants the lazy Jay, and I know he isn't the type of man to be content until he gets it. Too bad him not hang. He had too much money and influence. I was afraid there wouldn't be proof enough to hang him. There, fork, head. Yes, you head for the lazy Jay. I'll go on to Morton's. Ah. And be careful when you go through Grant Pass. The valley's mighty narrow, and there's a lot of rocks in the hills on each side. Any one of the Morton men would be glad of the chance to shoot you from ambush. On to watch him. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Butch Newsom, the foreman of the extensive Morton Ranch, was standing near the corral as the Lone Ranger, unmasked but wearing a disguise, rode up. Hi there. Hi. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, stranger, what's on your mind? Yep. A job. A job, huh? What makes you think the Morton spread's hiring? I heard in Pecos that you were. Where have you worked? I haven't done much wrangling, but I understand it isn't that you care about. A pack of brace of shooting irons, I see. Yes, tied low, too. It means you might sometimes have to make a fast draw. That's right. 
In particular, just what sort of work you're called on to do? Suppose you tell me the details. Well, here, I can give you some of them. Mr. Morton's to meet all the new hands tonight in the bunkhouse. He'll tell you the rest of them. Very well. Seems that he wants enough men to put into the hills on each side of Grand Pass and guard the pass. What for? Well, that's one of the things Morton himself will tell you. I see. All I can say is that he's right anxious to keep a certain herd from getting through the pass to the railroad spur. Oh? Plans to shoot the cattle down? Not exactly. Not if they can be stampeded. Now, maybe I'm talking too much, stranger. Maybe you'll go tell the sheriff about this, but it won't do you no good. You see, it'll be your word again mine, and I ain't said a thing. I won't tell the sheriff anything. Why should I? I'm just mentioning that in case. I guess Morton is pretty friendly with the lawman and Pecos anyway, isn't he? I wouldn't say as to that. He beat that murder trial. Yeah. All right, stranger, just keep your hands above the shoulders. I've seen you coming, boss, and got your signal to say nothing. What's the matter? I said turn slow and let me have a look at you. Seems like I've seen that horse somewhere before. You must be Merton Morton. That's me. Looks like you got your face sort of fixed up in a disguise. Have I? Butch, take a shooting iron to break them open. See if they ain't loaded with bullets that are made of silver. Silver? Silver! Look out, boy! Stand him, boy! Watch this! No, you don't! Oh, my hands! I'll get you! Not so fast! Stop him! Stop him! He shot my gun hands! I'll get you! Come on, boy! I'll shoot again! Oh, you missed him! Why didn't you drop him? I tried that, boss, but he knocked me down. I can't shoot in the ground like this. Get on your feet! What good are you, anyhow? If his horse hadn't knocked you to one side, I'd have. Or if he hadn't shot my gun away, I thought my hand was smashed. Gosh, what's shooting? How much did you tell him? What do you want here? He was looking for a job. A job? He didn't want no job. He just came for information. What's he know? I didn't tell him much, boss. That's a man that spoiled my last chance at the Lazy J. He was? Yeah. It's not the Lone Ranger. Yes, a Lone Ranger. Oh, if only you dropped him when you fired him. Gosh, I... No wonder he got his gun out so fast. As long as he's around here, I don't feel easy about things. What's there he can do? Reckon he can't do much? Not now. I ain't broke no laws that he can catch me for. I got friends as sheriff's deputies. If he goes to help Mag take her critters through the pass, he won't be able to do any more than any other waddy. And you aim to go ahead with the plan? Sure I do. You have all the new hands in the bunkhouse tonight. I'll be there and give them orders. And if you see the Lone Ranger again, shoot him on sight. I sure will. And see that you shoot to kill. That evening, ten newly hired gunmen met in the bunkhouse at the Morton Ranch. They were a hard, grim-faced pack, each man capable of murder. They were willing to take any kind of orders as long as they were paid, but they insisted on payment in full. You'll get paid, all right. That's all I want to be sure of, Morton. I've got all your names on this list. When do we get some money? How long do we wait? My foreman will pay you for one week now, and you get three weeks pay in a lump when the job is done. That's good pay for work that won't take more than a few days. You better outline the scheme. Butch here, my top hand, will show you places on each side of Grant Pass where you can hide and wait for the Lazy J cattle to come through. You stampede the cattle, spread it out both ways from the pass, so they can't be loaded to the cattle car, Savvy? Yeah. Meanwhile, the cars will be waiting. As soon as that cattle is stampeded bad, you come and help load my stock on the cars. I'll have the train held over one day. Then when it pulls out, Lazy J stock won't be on it. You see, Jens, the idea is to keep Mag from selling cattle. Then she'll have to sell her ranch. She won't be able to keep going. Now, I'll go down this list of your names, and Butch will pay as agreed. What's that? Who fired that? Someone come through the window. Get a light. Get the other light going. I'll have a light. Wait a minute. Hurry up. Don't let no one get out of here. Watch that window. Keep an eye on the window. Don't let anyone get out. Shoot the first one that ties for the window. Oh, he's going out the door. Where's the light? The paper's gone. Where's that paper? Look. Look here. Quiet down. It's him again. He took that paper with your names and left a silver bullet to show he got it. It was the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger raced away from the ranch to meet Tonto, but Morton would not believe that any way could be found to spoil his plans. The next day, led by Butch and Morton himself, the newly hired gunmen spread through the hills on each side of Grant Pass. Hey, guy, you drop out right here and stand behind that block. Right, boss. You sure got a pack of nerve, boss. Why have I? Going right ahead with the planes. One man ain't going to stop me. Reed. Reed, senor. Stay behind that boulder. That's your post. Hey, amigo. How do you think stealing that list of names would stop us? <laughs> you had the wrong hunch, Butch. How's that? Likely thought they was wanted by the law. Them names on the list weren't their own. He ain't a chance to get Lawman to come here. Maybe Mustang Mag will learn from him that we're here. Let her know. Maybe she won't run her cattle through the pass knowing we're here to shoot him down or stampede him. Of course she won't. And if she don't send them through, she won't get them to the railroad and she won't sell them. That's so. Who there? Who? 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 Who?
Let old Mustang Mag watch her cattle die on her hands. This is the time we got her licked. Curtain falls in the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. Unaware that Morton's gunmen were guarding the pass, Mustang Mag sat astride a big chestnut mare, supervising the roundup of her cattle. Come on there, Sam. Step lively, Hank. Get them critters herded. We ain't got all year to get to the railroad. Hey, hey, Mag. Whoa, whoa, there, whoa. What's your trouble? Mag, there's going to be trouble. What sort? Morton has showed his hand. He's in the hill. What hill? On each side of Grand Pass. All them two gun coyotes he hired are spotted there. They're aiming to stop us from driving her to Grand Pass. What? Just so that's his scheme. That's what's been on his mind from the start. He can't do that. He sure can and is. Why, that double dealing pole can't. Missouri, if you're lying, I'll lay him based it within an inch of your line. It's true, so help me, Mag. How'd you know it's Morton? Well, they're his men. Is he there, Sam? I don't know, Mr. Lamb. It ain't likely, the poor cat. I see it now. You'll keep yourself in the clear and blame what happens on cow thieves that'll disappear before the law can touch you. Mag, there ain't but one thing to do. What's that? Go through the hill. Ah, oh, you addle hated old fool. How? Just go. You can't get through Grand Pass. Can't get through the hills, that much is sure. Why, well, it's all a saddle broke horse can do to get through them hills, and a herd of cattle wouldn't have a chance. But there ain't no other way. I'll leave the critters here and let them starve before I try the hills. Shucks, it couldn't be done. They'd stray and bust the legs and get lost, and ah, that can't be done. But you can't keep the stock here. There ain't grazing to carry them. Then it's Grant Pass. You can't go through there with them crooks waiting. We got to. Maybe we'll lose the cattle, but we can get a shot at some of them crooks while we're doing it. Come on, boys. Keep moving. I am the star of four sundown. High in the hills overlooking the valley ranch, the Lone Ranger and Tonto watched the roundup. She's going ahead with the roundup, Tonto. Uh huh. I thought she would, in spite of knowing about the men who were waiting. Hmm, her plenty brave. I didn't think it'd be necessary to take the time to ride down there and tell her to go ahead. Her not be ready for a long time. It'll be sundown before she's ready to move through Grant Pass. Uh. And that gives us just enough time to reach the army post. But. You say soldier, not help. They won't. At least I don't think they will unless they're made to help. Uh, why soldier, not help? They can't, Hunter. The station at the post to stop Indian uprisings. The army men can't take part in cattle and land troubles. That isn't what the soldiers are there for. Oh. Uh, well, what you do? I'm going to take this list of names to Colonel Andrews. And what Hunter do? You're going to go with me and watch for a signal. We may have trouble with the guard at the fort. If so, we'll take care of them. I'll tell you more as we ride. Come on, Hunter. I'll silver away. Riding hard, the Lone Ranger and Tonto headed for an army post several miles away. The masked man knew that it was hopeless to ask aid for Mustang Mag. They also knew that Tonto could be relied upon to carry out his part of their plan. Come on, Silver! Get him up, go. When the hills had been left behind, the two hard-riding men saw the flag above the distant garrison. There's old glory, Tonto. And I hate to fight the men who guard it, but it may have to be done. Uh, we fix them. Thank you. 
The Lone Ranger and Tonto finally arrived at the fort and brought their horses to a stop. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. The guard challenged them. Who goes there? I want to speak to your commander. Who's that man? I want to speak to Colonel Andrews. Get him, Tonto. Let me get him. Oh, that's it. I'm sorry to have to do this, soldier. But this is one time the cavalry has to ride whether the commander wants it to or not. Fix him, rope. I'm going to have to gag you, but I hope it won't be for long. There's an old woman who's going to pray for your welfare and safety every night when she hears the truth of this. All right, tell her to the saddle. Uh, Don't already. You remember the part you have to play? Uh-huh. By the guard's side, you'll have no trouble getting out of the garrison. It's a good thing the next sentry can't see this close to the gate. Uh-huh. Now to speak to Colonel Andrews. Come on, boy. You watch Kimosabi for my signal. Andrews. Who are you? Mash. What does this mean? I want to speak to you, sir. It's vital for the rights of a rancher beyond Grant Pass. Steady, Captain. Don't reach for a gun. Remove that mask and identify yourself. Let me hand you this list of names. I think you may find some men on there who are wanted by the law. For well, what? Various crimes around this part of the country. Horse stealing, cattle stealing, and murder. Why do you come here with this? Because I can show you where all those men can be found. You've been misinformed. The enforcement of law is in the hands of marshals and sheriffs. The law is helpless. Furthermore... I don't see any names on here that I recognize. I'm familiar with the names of most outlaws. Now remove that mask. Captain. Yes, sir. Summon the outpost guard. I want to know how this man got in here. You needn't call your guard. I tied and gagged him. You what? He did his best to stop me. Consider yourself under arrest. Colonel Andrews, desperate measures were required. The owner of the Lazy J is trying to move cattle through Grant Pass. You're under arrest. The men whose names are on that list are in the hills intending to stampede the cattle. Call the guards. Send the guards. Can't you understand, Colonel, that unless the very lives of people depended on your action, I wouldn't have risked attacking the guard and coming here like this. If you'll send troops to I the I've been more than patient. Put up your hands. Surrender your guns. What are you doing? Nothing in particular. Why'd you brush your hand across the window like that? Go up, go. Who's that? Stand back. I'm going out that door. Look out there. That Indian. Stop it. He's our horses. Come back here. Stop that Indian. Where's the guard? Bill Silver. And the call, Captain. Get after him. You stand back. Four horses are stolen. That Indian went right past the gate. Where's the guard? Pull up, Bill Silver. Oh, stop him. Get that wrench. Get after him. Stop him. Get after him. soldiers were caught completely off guard by the daring of Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Before they recovered from their surprise, Tonto was already out in the open. The Lone Ranger soon caught up with him and... All right, Tonto. I'll lead two of those horses. Ah, uh, we go faster. Yes, we'll make better time. We've got to keep ahead of army bullets. Get them up, scout. Come on, Silver. Show these horses how to run. Hello, Silver. Away. Soldiers, however, lost no time in taking up the pursuit. A score of hard-riding men in uniform left the post, determined to capture the masked man and the Indian and recover the four horses. in the valley, Mustang Mag had her roundup completed and was ready to begin the trip through Grant Pass. Missouri argued... I tell you, Mag, it's the same as suicide to try it. Why, them ornery cow even coyotes will ruin your herd complete. There ain't no choice, Missouri. You got your shooting irons ready? I sure have. Well, as soon as I get my gun belt in place, we'll set out. You men ready? Ain't no need a point of wing ride until we're through Grant Pass. All we got to do is stop the herd and ride behind the critter. Pass is too narrow to let him spread. Most stubborn woman I ever see. Well, if you got to go, let's get started. It's just about sundown. All right, boys. Wait, Meg. Look what's coming through the pass. 
Look at them horses travel. Leaping June about six of them. And four of that low rider. Long Silver. That's him, Missouri. That's the Lord Ranger. Oh, 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 my Silver. What's them four horses? Meg, these are army horses. The soldiers are after us. The whole army? They'll get their horses when they get here. As soon as they ride in the valley, start your cattle through the pass. Oh, Tonto and I leave the horses and break for the hills. But I don't say it. The army coming here? You crowd the pass with your cattle, the troop can't get by. You'll have 20 soldiers ready to wipe out anyone who starts trouble from the hills. But they can't get ahead. I'll silver away. When the troops arrived, they realized it was useless to follow the masked man into the hills and contented themselves with reclaiming their horses. Mustang Mag followed orders, and shortly after sunset, Morton and his men saw the herd coming toward the pass. Here comes the lazy chase talk. Ah, the boys are like Morton. It's good they started tonight. I thought they would. It's best to get through the pass before dark and make the open plains by night when it ain't so hot. I'll pass the word to the boys to get ready to fire and stampede the herd. Wait, huh? Troops, the cavalry. There's the man we saw right in. Right, right behind the Lazy J outfit. Butch, we can't open fire now. Senor, no soldier. I'm no fire now. I don't take the risk, senor. Not for any money. Pass the word to the others. Tell them to sit tight. The law warned me. I give back what you pay. No fight, soldier. All right. Who's no. asking you to fight the soldiers? Hey, Martin, this scheme of yours ain't working out. Shut up. I can see, can I? Me and the rest won't shoot down army men. How'd that woman get the troops to guard her cattle? She didn't blast at all. It's just that mask man. He done it. He took them horses into the valley and the soldiers chased them. Now the troops are trying to get out and they got to stay behind that herd. Boss, that ain't the worst of us. What? She knows you double-crossed her. Meg? Yeah, she'll get to the cattle cars tomorrow and start the train east and your stock won't be aboard. That confounded woman. That mask man. What's the matter, Morton? What the... You're covered. Don't draw. The mask man. Where'd you come I from? I just rode up from behind to watch from your point of view. My Mustang Meg takes her cattle to the cars that are waiting. My cattle cars. Cars for the first cattle that get there. Too bad you wasted your time with Mag's affairs instead of attending to your own business. You've done this, you scheme of bullshit. Well, last said he got away. If only we had that hombre on our side. But doggone it, we ain't. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.